If you live in the Twin Cities, odds are good that you live within biking distance of a brewery. Lucky you. And a chunky part. You're also likely within 15 minutes or so of a fun mountain bike trail. Woo, that's fun. How fortunate you are. But perhaps best of all is that you can hop in your car, head north into the lakes and pines of Minnesota, and in a couple of hours you can step out into the heart of Cuyuna country, a true mountain biking Shangri-La. Cuyuna is both a town and a region. In the town, you'll find the Wood Tick Inn, where every June they have Wood Tick races. Cuyuna the region makes up the now defunct mines of the Cuyuna Iron Range, and it's within this region where you'll find the mountain bike trails. Today, I'm gonna give you my top five reasons why you need to come mountain bike Cuyuna. Okay, number one, and this one should seem pretty obvious, the trails. After all, when you're mountain biking, the trails reign supreme and Cuyunas are red gold. Currently boasting over 55 miles of single track with construction of more ongoing, Cuyuna has trails for beginners and pros alike. There are strolls through the woods, perfect for beginners. Hills here make for fast, face-melting flowy sections. There are jump lines that are way too big for me, but I still find my fun. Awesome. Awesome. And there's plenty of gnarly backcountry tech. Oh yeah, this is good stuff. Oh, that is fun. Whatever your comfort level on a bike, Cuyuna has the trails to support it. And number two, improve your skills. That's right, you will become a better rider if you come out here. As I said, there are trails and features to challenge riders of all skill levels. I could spend an entire day at the skills course alone and I guarantee that I'd step off the bike at the end of the day knowing I progressed as a rider. This skills course has jump lines that can get progressively bigger, rocky technical features, and some unique skinnies that you can string together. Sketchy rock skin here, kinda cool. We must be at skinny center here. Oh, well, that one's kinda cool. I love when you can start small and work your way up, just like you can with some of the drops they have here. Got different size ones here. You can start on the smaller one. This one's a little bit bigger. Really don't need much speed on those at all. Okay, I'd probably do a run up here. Oh yeah, I got this. Famous last words. I know I can do it. And then I ain't doing these jumps. Too big for me. Three is mountain biking infrastructure. Once a cluster of mining towns, this place is now all in on mountain biking. Whether you're coming for a day or staying for a week at a Verbo, campground, a trailside cabin, or even a yurt, 
you'll quickly notice that you can leave your car behind. There are paved trails that connect you from wherever you are to the trailhead. At the Monoman South Trailhead, there are bike repair stands and bike wash stations, amenities for your basic needs, grills, picnic tables and shelters for your pre or post ride antics, maps and information kiosks to answer any question you may have. They even have a selfie station? Number four is a big one and it's the community. So the mining really began here in the early 20th century. Uh, I had immigrants from Scandinavian countries and southeastern European countries come to the area through hard work, try to carve out a better lives for themselves. Production really boomed in the 40s and 50s around World War II, the Korean War. Uh, the manganese rich ore here helped to build really strong steel for the war effort. In the 60s, production began to taper as some mining uh, outfits moved out of the state. Local legislation was passed to incentivize mining elsewhere in the state. Last shipments went on in the 80s and in 93, the Cuyuna Country State Recreation, Recreation Area was founded. And this here, the demo trail, is the first mountain bike trail they made. So off of this, right here, came the mountain biking mecca, known as Cayuna. Tourism drives the economy here. People come for the views, the crystal clear waters of the pit lakes, and of course, to mountain bike. Awesome. Many local businesses here donate some of their profits directly to the construction of new bike trails. They know that by investing in the trail system, more mountain bikers will be drawn to the area and their investment will see a nice return. Everyone wins, especially the mountain bikers. On a recent ride at Cuyuna, one of the jagged rocks that coat the trails out here did a number on my rear tire. Ooh, that was a pointy rock. Happy I'm not hearing any hisses right now. Oh, I do have a fl oh no. My most valiant trailside so, efforts weren't enough to seal no, up the sliced sidewall. No. After making it back to the trailhead, I went over to Red Raven. Not only did they slap on a new tire and get me back to riding in no time, but they even had beer and a killer Reuben while I waited. You gotta check this place out next time you're in Crosby. All right, and last, but certainly not least, the red tires. The iron ore in the dirt here will leave your tires stained a beautiful rusty red color. This is sure to impress your riding buddies on your next trip to local trails. What's that? Oh, uh, these red tires. Yeah, I rode Cuyuna last weekend. It was sick. I rode like every trail out there by noon. I hit all the jump lines. They weren't very big, but it was pretty sick. I suppose these tires will be red for a few weeks now, so took out the double black trails. I thought they were single black, but whatever. Yeah, I suppose I'm gonna have to scrub these babies to get it off, but it's pretty sick. <laughs>